curve one. In this tutorial, we will create the ball curveball. Here's a video of what we are going to make. So let's get started. Before uh, we do anything else, we will have to change a few things. First of all, we are going to add in our reset function rigid body that sleeve. And we will change our transform that rotation to transform that local rotation. And in our throw ball function, we will remove our float x and change that to float x is mouse position x mouse pulse.x minus last mouse x times oh, divide by screen with width. And then we change our direction to quaternion or angle axis x times 180 f and then factor 3 that up and time that uh, quaternion angle axis times new factor 3 and 0 f. 1f and 1f and then we change our rigid body at force to direction times speed okay so once we have that we will add a few new variables so the first variable we are going to add is another boolean which will be called curve then we will also add a couple floats, private float, curve amount, 0f, curve speed, it's 2f, min curve amount to curve ball, it's a, lot of, it's a long, long float name and a max curve amount and we will also create a rectangle so private rect and we'll call that shirping box and then in our start function we will say rigid body dot max angular velocity is curve amount times 8f and we'll also create a circling box. Circling box is equal to new rect screen dot width divided by two, screen dot height divided by two, and then zero f zero f. Okay, so once you have that, we will go to our update function, and here we will say curve is Map the apps curve amount, and then if that's bigger than the minimum, so mean curve amount curve ball, then the curve will be true, otherwise, it won't be. And then we'll create an if statement so if curve and the ball is thrown, then we'll say factor tree direction factor 3 that right and direction is camera dot main dot transform dot transform direction and then direction so it's rotated according to our camera's rotation and then we'll say rigid body dot add force direction times curve amount times time the delta time and it will say force mode is force mode of impulse okay then we go to our if input touch count equals one we'll say if our last mouse x is less than our circling box x then we'll say circling 
box x is equal to last mouse x. Then if last mouse x is greater than circling box of x and x, then we'll say circling box dot x max is last mouse x. And we'll do the same for our last mouse y. So if last mouse y is shorter or uh, smaller than our circling box of y, then circling box of y will be last mouse y. And the other one, if last mouse y is bigger than circling box of y max, then it's circling box dot y max will be equal to last mouse y. Okay, so we do this to create a rectangle, and once our mouse is or our finger is out of the box, the box will be bigger, so our center point will change to of our box. And we're going to use the center later. So then go to our untouch function and we'll activate a function called calc curve mount. This function doesn't exist yet, but we're going to make it now. So we'll create a function called that called curve mount like that. And we'll start by creating three factor two. So factor two b that will be equal to is new factor two last mouse x or last mouse y create another factor two call that one c the order isn't in uh, it isn't in order but that doesn't matter i'll say input dot get touch zero position and our factor two dot effect uh, to a will be our circling box dot center so what we will create now will be it will look like this so this is our uh, our circle so this is our center the line down for example will be our old old line so this is our old one and then if we go a bit further this will be our new one and we want to calculate if our angle is in the plus so it's counterclockwise or if it's clockwise okay so now what we will do is to say bool is left is b dot x minus a dot x times c dot y minus a dot y minus b dot y minus a dot y times c dot, c dot x minus a dot x and then If that is bigger than zero, then it's left. Okay, so be sure that you have this good, otherwise there will be problems. It's uh, a bit confusing. So A is midpoint, B is our our last point, and C is where we are now. So what we will do now is create an if statement. So if is left, then our curve amount minus equals time dot delta time times curve speed. And if that's not the case, then our curve amount plus is time dot delta time times curve speed. And then we'll clamp our curve amount. So curve amount is matf.clamp. 
and then curve mount. And now we'll do our minus mix curve mount and then our mix curve mount. Like that. And then once you've done this, we are pretty much done. We can add a little if statement right here, just to be sure. So if p does not equal c, so if that equals each, each then we will return. Otherwise, if we have our finger still, it will still rotate. And then we go to our reset and we'll add curve amount. is mu f, so we reset it, and then we are pretty much done, so let's go back to unity, and right now I have connected my phone via unity mode, so once I activate our play button, we can check if it works, so, oh, it didn't, uh, didn't load yet, did I save it? So I'll add a couple serialized fields so I can check what what's happening. Serialized field, serialized field, and then load it, please. And there we can see our curve mount is changing, but our ball isn't rotating yet. So we can fix this by going to our script, and then we'll say in our update that our rigid body rigid body with max angular velocity is curve amount times 8f and we'll say our rigid body with angular velocity is transform with forward times curve amount times 8f plus our old rigid body dot angular velocity so rigid body dot angular velocity and then right now if we start our unity game we can see that our ball will rotate and if we throw it we can see it has effect now for the other other side, you can tell it has effect. It was a pretty lame shot. So yeah, that was it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will create something else. I'm not sure what, but we'll create something else. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And if you got suggestions, put them in the comments. See you guys later. Bye.